Hi, and welcome to HUDKing.com, your place to see real virtual tours on HUD homes in and around San Antonio and the South Texas area. If you're watching this video on HUDKing.com, click on the T to follow us on Twitter, click on the F to follow us on Facebook, or click on the YouTube link to be taken to our YouTube page. When you're at our YouTube page, if you click the subscribe button, you'll be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here at 7502 Yellow Sand Drive. That's 7502 Yellow Sand Drive over in Marbach Gardens. And this is a four bedroom, two and a half bath home. Two story, approximately 1,660 square feet, built in 1998. The home does sit at a corner here, so it's on a little bit larger lot. It's about an 8,600 square foot lot. Exterior wise, is a combination of brick, and it looks like hardy plank, and there's a little bit of wood trim. They did convert the garage so you don't have any garage parking, but there is ample driveway parking here. Looks like they even poured a little side slab. Exterior wise, we'll probably need a little bit of painting, maybe replace some of the wood trim. You'll need to caulk some of it, as you can see some of the trim is damaged. Let's take a look at the backyard and we'll look at the inside. Well, we step into the backyard off of the dining room through two new sliding glass doors. And because it sits at a kind of the corner of the street, you do have an oversized rear lot. In fact, I would venture to guess it actually might be a little bit, oh no, I'm sorry, it's not 8,000 square feet, it's a 10,000 square foot lot. You do have a little shed here for storage and a rear view of the home. Exterior wise, really needs a fresh coat of paint, replace a little bit of the damaged trim which is pretty minor on the exterior. Big lot. Let's take a look at the inside. Well, we step into the home and it does have ceramic tile on the floor, kind of an interesting color and pattern, a, a black tile with little red accents. And to the left here, we have your combined living room along with your dining room. And then around the corner over here, we have your kitchen. Now the flooring is, is okay in this home. You may not be crazy about the color, but I'm sure that when it's cleaned up, it's definitely durable. You may want to replace it if you don't like the color though. Kitchen needs a little bit of work. Uh, maybe a fresh coat of paint. There is evidence of some kind of a small ceiling leak here. You want to repair that. We come over to your interior washer and dryer connections. So actually this uh, was the garage and you can see they sort of finished it out. They put a wall here. They converted the garage into an another living area. So you want to put a door there, paint that, put some flooring in here. Here's your little pantry. Put in an oven, it does have room for an electric oven. This room will need a fresh coat of paint. You do have a little half bath downstairs, which is a single vanity and a commode. Throw a fresh coat of paint in here, investigate a little ceiling leak there. You can see there is evidence of some kind of a ceiling leak. We have your front door and then when you come to the right, you would normally have access into the garage. However, they did convert the garage into this additional living space. Looks like they might have even had it as a bar. Um, could probably convert that back or leave it and have it as additional living space. You do have a door that takes you outside there. And then all bedrooms will be upstairs. I recommend that you replace the flooring and the staircase. Patch a few pieces of damaged sheetrock and paint it. We get upstairs and the, upstairs and to the left we have bedroom number one. Bedroom one, number one up to the top left is going to be your master bedroom. Two closets in the master bedroom. You want to replace the bath master bedroom door. You can see that it is damaged. And replace the flooring. Cheap tack down linoleum flooring, you replace that. We have your master bath, which is a single vanity and a shower and tub combo. It's a good sized bathroom, but you want to replace the flooring and put in painting. Directly across from that, we have bedroom number two. Bedroom number two needs a fresh coat of paint and some flooring. Down the hallway, we have bathroom number two. Full bath number two is a single vanity and a shower and tub combo. It's going to need tack down linoleum flooring and a fresh coat of paint. We have bedroom number three right next to that. Bedroom number three needs a fresh coat of paint. Repair that little bit of damaged sheetrock there and put in some flooring. And then right across from that, we have bedroom number four. Bedroom number four needs a fresh coat of paint, needs some flooring, and that's about it. So the whole home throughout probably needs a fresh coat of paint. You're going to want to replace all the flooring, patch up a few pieces of damaged sheetrock, and then investigate those few minor water leaks. Let me give you a summary.
Well, there you have it, 7502 Yellow Sand Drive. That's 7502 Yellow Sand Drive. This home has a lot of potential, has that really big, large lot in the back. You could do a whole lot with it, but it does need some work. This home is actually $5,000 underneath the county appraisal, listed right now for only $92,000. So if you're interested in this home and you don't have a realtor, I would love to earn your business. You can reach me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King, and I want to help you find your castle.